Boom 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 Come gather round Miss Martha's got a story Can't wait to hear where it all might take us this time Everyone knows that treasure lies inside these pages We wanna be hanging out with story Everybody wants to be there when Miss Martha reads Support comes from Norfolk Collegiate, providing a foundation for students pre-K to fifth grade, where innovative, student-driven, farm-to-table initiatives, engaging experiences, and daily in-person instruction are just the beginning. More at norfolkcollegiate.org. Hello, friends! Welcome to Miss Martha Reed's Storytime. I'm Miss Martha, and I'm so excited that you are joining me for another amazing, creative, W-H-R-O's PBS Kids winning story. Today's story is titled Earth's Cardboard Creations. It was written by a fourth grader named Evie who attends Kilby Shores Elementary School in Suffolk. Let's put on our good listening ears, click, click, so that we can find out about these cardboard creations. Once there was a boy named Earth. He was kind and creative. He liked to recycle materials and make new things out of them. Earth thought that trash was good and bad. It was good because he could make new things out of it. However, it was bad because it could hurt animals and pollute the water. One day, he took a toilet paper tube and made a pincer holder. He added some colorful tape to the outside to decorate. He put in 10 pencils and 10 markers. He thought that it looked pretty awesome on his desk. Later that week, he took an empty cereal box and turned it into a theater snack box. He cut out a compartment for his drinks and for candy and popcorn. Earth made two more snack boxes and planned a movie night for his friends. He invited Moon and Sun over and they watched a funny movie together. The next day, Earth took some cardboard boxes and made a house to play in. He decorated it with colorful tape and lots of stickers. Then he took a small cardboard box and some string and made a pulley. He could pull snacks up to the top floor of his house. He played for hours and hours in his cardboard house. One day, he took two toilet paper rolls and made pretend binoculars. He glued them together and painted them blue. Then he ate 
added stars shaped stickers and added a string so that they would hang around his neck. Earth thought that they were super fun to play with. With he looked out into the universe and saw beautiful stars. Each day, Earth made some something new. He not only had a lot of fun making them, but he helped the planet too. Instead of throwing things away, Earth reused cardboard and other trash to make amazing creations. The end. Wow, what a very creative story about recycling. And you know what? That is something that I like to do. I like to recycle, reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is something that I love doing, recycling. Now, I tried one of Earth's cardboard creations and I used a toilet paper tube and I got some this is like contact paper and you peel it off on the back and you can stick it on and what I did was I took it and I measured what I needed and then I cut off what I didn't need. And ah, voila, I have my pincer holder. Look at that. Isn't that neat, my pencil holder? Now you might have to put something on the bottom to keep it from the pincers from coming out. But isn't that pretty neat? I think that'll go pretty good on my desk. And you know what? You can also make your own cardboard creations, but first ask your parents for permission, especially if you have to use scissors, okay? Because we want you to be safe, all right? Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I always have to remind you to Practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Support comes from Norfolk Collegiate, making your child's educational experience a great one through student-driven initiatives, unique spaces, and daily in-person instruction. More at norfolkcollegiate.org. It's the school with the hens.